Hmm. Uh, this week at Coffee and Tools, we're doing the final review on the Tac Life uh, lawnmower. And I'm going to try to uh, do some details and then we're going to talk about uh, application because I have a large piece of property but this guy still has a life even on a, a large landowner can still look at something like this and also use it this is not just for say small property owners but the convenience of course of the small stores and the other things but we're going to get into some of the details today and then uh, I'm going to talk about some of the uh, applications welcome to coffee and tools I was talking to the gang over at Tack Life and they were telling me that when you start these lawnmowers up, put the battery in first, lock it in, as you just heard, and then put the key in. It's a, sort of a safety issue to make sure that everything's okay, so the last thing to go in, put the key in. Yeah, the other item I wanted to cover in better detail, I, did, I just sort of jumped over this. If for some reason you uh, want to mulch, this is your mulch setup right here. If you want to put grass in the bag, of course, we have to take this little guy out and set this off to one side, <clears throat> place the bag in, and place the bag on, and then we're ready to go. Now, the other thing I guess better mention is this will pop up because you have air pressure, of course. As it fills up with grass, this is going to drop eventually. When it's dropped like that, it's full of grass. So. Just some things that the uh, gang over there at Tack Life were mentioning to me and said, you know, we'll try to, leave to you know, get some more detail on this. So, anyway, let's go back to mulching. Uh, again, if you're going to mulch, you can leave the bag off or run with the bag, but this just simply snaps into place. There, it's snapped in, ready to mulch. I generally would probably drag the bag around with me because I just think it looks, looks cool. <laughs> Tack Life has mentioned sending me a robot uh, over for testing. I wonder how that would review would go. Hmm. Uh, has mentioned at Tack Life too. The uh, battery capacity is a 4 amp hour battery, 40 volt. No load speed is 3500 RPM. The cutting width is 16 inches. The height and adjustment is 1 to 3 inches. And the charge time, about 150 minutes. What a cool machine. On another note, uh, I was told by the uh, gang at Tack Life that you can unlock the uh, handles on this and you can fold this down so that when you pack it up, you can lock it down. I'll get that off of there. And you can lock it in this position. Now, I haven't been able to do that with this model. The only thing I can think of is you'd have to use one of these clamps and tighten it up this way to lock it. I wouldn't do that necessarily. Uh, be honest with you, <clears throat> I would go to a truck stop, get a bungee cord, just pull this across here to uh, hold, fold and lock it up. I don't see any locking mechanisms or any way to lock this uh, up. I went over the manual a couple times, checked with some other websites. I couldn't find any information about lock, you know, locking this down in a down position like this. So uh, it's unfortunate, but <clears throat> it happens, I guess. I think what it is is there are different models, and some of them probably do uh, offer that feature. It's just this particular one here doesn't have that feature, I believe. I think that's what's going on here. I'm just, you know, uh, shooting from the side of the pocket or whatever here today on that one. The other thing I didn't mention but uh, is there's a huge rubber pad back here to drag behind to keep the debris off you. So that's a you know that's a good that's a big good that's a good plus too. So let's talk about applications and I'll just give you some for instance. I have a gas line out there and a big meter and stuff and my 800 pound lawnmower it's kind of scary because between the uh, tractor and the machinery I'm running around that gas line is kind of scary and you know, you know what could happen. Another application is I have some flower bed areas and instead of weed whacking which I always get this kind of chunk kind of uh, action out of it I can use the uh, tack life around this, this area. This becomes a great trimmer mower, mower for me because I have a large piece of property. If you have a generally city size or, or relative size uh, piece of property, this guy's going to do all the grass 
for you. Anyways, you're going to be able to cut everything you need to cut. But the larger properties, I was concerned a little bit, and then I realized, you know, there's some great advantages to having uh, a little guy like this around. Well, 16 inches isn't really that small, but it allows me to get in and out easily, lightly, and I can trim with it, and I get a nice smooth cut instead of this weed whacking where I, I seem to chunk everything up. And this week, that was kind of part of the thing I wanted to really push was there's a lot of areas around the house. The other area I don't like to uh, cut really anything too powerful with is around my AC. Uh, anywhere around the AC unit, it gets kind of creepy because if you ever knock a stone or something up in there, you're into $4,000 worth of damage. And something like this can, you know, easily cut around that and it's not going to threaten the machine or, or, you know, destroy the pipe or hit something because you've got great control, nice light machine, it's predictable, it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. Wow, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools this week. <laughs>